it's one of the largest hordes of Anglo-Saxon coins ever found in Britain. Discovered by a metal detector enthusiast in a Buckinghamshire field, now they're going on display for the very first time at the British Museum. And as our arts correspondent Brenda Manus reports, the collection is valued at more than a million pounds. The condition of the wounds in the centre. From the muddy ground in the village of Lemborough in Buckinghamshire to the shiny shells of the British Museum, treasures from one of the largest Anglo-Saxon hordes ever found in Britain now go and show to the public. Reunited with some of the 5,200 silver coins he discovered last December, metal detector enthusiast Paul Coleman from the Weekend Wanderers Detecting Club realised very quickly that he'd discovered something special. Because of the size of the signal on the surface, I knew it was, it, whatever it was, it was either a large lump of lead with a few coins in, or a large lump of lead with a lot of coins in, I, but I knew it was a large find, whatever it was. So here in the City Money Gallery of the museum, some of Paul Coleman's finds go on show to the public. Preliminary identification suggests that some of the coins may have come from as many as 40 mints across England and include coins from the reigns of Kings Ethelred the Unready and Canute the Great. It was the British Museum's conservation team that put the sparkle back into the hoard of 11th century coins. Coins got lucky in as much as they were buried in a lead container because the poor lead container sacrificed itself chemically for the good of the silver, so the lead container is in just shreds of corrosion, really. I knew it was an important hoard when our expert in this, these coins in the museum came and sat by me by the sink. Literally, he sat at my elbow and as soon as I cleaned a coin, he read it. Basically, we cleaned it with warm, soapy water and very soft toothbrushes and it came up beautifully. They're worth over a million pounds. How much of that do you get? Well, it, it, the, the, um, the, the, the arrangement was 50-50 with the landowner, so half, half each. It's all a little surreal as well. I mean, you know, if, if you know, if you were some famous actor or something, I suppose it's a, something you live with every day. But when you're just Joe Bloggs, you know, and this happens, it really is hard to get your head round, really. While he ponders on how to spend his reward, the historical significance of Paul Coleman's discovery is priceless. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News. Lucky him.